Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you through on how to set up the official software-based software wallet for the Monero cryptocurrency. Uh, if you haven't watched any of my other videos on cryptocurrencies, uh, software-based wallets are more secure than an online-based wallet that you don't have full ownership of, but do take a little bit more on your side to set it up. So that's what today's video should address on getting a software-based wallet set up for the Monero cryptocurrency on your computer so that you have full control over your wallet and your private keys. So without further delay, let's go ahead and jump right to it. All right, so to get started, head over to the official website for Monero at getmonero.org. I'll link down in the description below, but it is a pretty simple URL, so you should be able to just type that right in and then click the big downloads link. In today's video, I'm gonna be downloading the and installing the Windows 64-bit, but you can go through some of the other uh, options. They have Mac and Linux, of course, um, but I'll be downloading the Windows version for today. And I'll also be downloading the GUI version, the GUI version. Uh, that just means it's the graphical user interface. The CLI is just the command prompt. Um, the GUI is definitely more beginner friendly, so I'm gonna be using that for today's video. All right, so after your wallet has finished downloading, you will now have a zipped compressed folder inside of your downloads folder. So just right click on this and extract all. You can leave the settings how they are and just to click extract. This might take a little while to download on your computer because it is a fairly large file at 145 megabytes and it will take a little while to extract too. So just be patient, let it download and then extract it. And then after it has finished extracting, the folder will automatically pop up on your uh, Windows uh, desktop. And then you'll be able to click on the subfolder that's inside of there. And then you'll see a v application file uh, called Monero-Wallet-GUI. You wanna click on this. It might take a little while to actually pop up, so just double click on that. And then once it pops up, we'll rejoin from there. All right, so after your application loads, go ahead and choose your language. Uh, today's video is gonna focus on creating a new wallet. I will have videos in the future uh, talking about how to restore your wallet, which is the second option. And the third option is opening your wallet from a data file. I'll talk about those in future videos because today's video is just gonna focus just on creating a brand new wallet. So go ahead and choose that option with the big light bulb. At this point in time, you can give your wallet a name. I'm calling mine Temp because I'm not gonna be using this because you can see my secret seed. Uh, the seed is gonna be a collection of random words uh, that you need to write down and make sure you note those down in the correct order. And you do wanna keep this someplace safe and secure. Do not store this in a data file, like a text file or a Word document on your computer itself because if your computer is compromised, uh, this seed will allow someone else to restore your Monero wallet and access all the Monero that you have stored in it. You wanna write this down in some, you know, some form physically. Some people actually take uh, sh sheets of very thin gauge metal and use metal stamps to write down their seeds. Uh, so that in, in the case of a fire, that would actually survive. Um, but you can also just store this off site in case something bad does happen, like your house does catch on uh, fire. But you do wanna keep the seed someplace very safe and secure. Uh, you can also choose where you want to, this file to uh, be stored. I'm just gonna go ahead and store this on the desktops uh, simply because it's a temporary wallet that I'm not gonna be keeping. So after you have chosen where you want to store your Monero wallet, go ahead and double check the seed that you have written down just to make sure that it's 100% right. And then let's go ahead and progress to the next step. And this is where you're gonna give your Monero wallet a password. This isn't as important as your seed because if you do forget this in the future, as long as you have that seed that you just wrote down, you can recover your wallet, but you will not be able to reset the password. So if you do some for some reason forget the password to your Monero wallet, you will have to recover that with the seed. So that's why the seed is so important to make sure that you keep it safe and secure. So I'm just gonna give this a random password just because this is the wall that I will not be keeping uh, simply because the seed and everything is up out there in the public. Of course, when you're setting up this wallet for real on your computer, you will want, we will want a more secure and complex password. Uh, roughly around here, the bar will turn green and at that point in time, you're pretty good uh, to go ahead and progress to the next step. 
Um, so at this final step, it's essentially just a review. You'll be able to see what your wallet is actually named, uh, the backup seed, so you can compare that one more time just to make sure that you have all the correct words written down and in the correct order. And then you'll be able to see where your wallet is actually going to be stored at. So at this point in time, we're pretty much done. So you can go ahead and click Use Monero and your wallet file will actually be created. You can see that the temp uh, file just popped up on my desktop. And you can see that the wallet um, application is now loading and you will have to allow uh, certain things past your UAC on your Windows. Um, but after that, the wallet will start to fully load and start to synchronize with the blockchain. All right, so now that we've set up our Monero wallet, I do want to walk through how to utilize it just in case you are newer to the world of uh, cryptocurrencies and uh, crypto wallets. So I've closed the wallet after, op after it had automatically opened, uh, just so you can see the entire process of what it would be like to open. So you, since the wallet doesn't actually technically install like some software does, wherever you have that folder right now, it's still in my downloads uh, folder, but you would wanna move that somewhere to your My Documents or something. And then at that point in time, you just will double click on the icon that you clicked on to create your wallet. And at this point in time, it's gonna recognize that you already have a default wallet on your computer. And it's now going to ask you for your password. So mine was just temp1234, uh, just so I could uh, have the easy access. And after starting the wallet, it's going to start the Damien, uh, or however you actually pronounce that word, and connect to the Monero network so it can start synchronizing with the blockchain. Um, so at this point in time, it's going to say connected. Uh, it will here in a little while start actually saying that it's synchronizing. Uh, but it will take a little bit for it to realize that it needs to synchronize with the the blockchain. Uh, it will take a long time to synchronize the first time you start your wallet, so just be patient for that. We're going to talk about the receive uh, section real quick. So you have two uh, main major th points here. Uh, the first of which is your address. If you're somewhat used to uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum or one of the other more widely known cryptocurrencies, uh, you'll notice that the address in Monero is much longer. Um, but you have the handy tool to either copy uh, this address to your clipboard or you can also send somebody your uh, QR code with your Monero address, which is especially handy on mobile devices. So to save the QR code, all you have to do is right click and save as, and this will save it as an image. You can save it as your pictures, your desktop, or wherever you want to save it to. And then you can send this QR code image uh, to someone that you want to uh, give you uh, Monero. Uh, or if you're going to be mining on a pool, uh, you can go ahead and click this button right here to copy your address and input that as your receiving address or uh, the payout address for the pool that you're going to be mining Monero on. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and just copy my address real quick just to demonstrate uh, the sending mechanisms just because I don't have another address to uh, demonstrate this with. Uh, because of two reasons, I can't actually send anything. The first of which, of course, is there's no Monero in this wallet. The second of which is I'm still synchronizing with the blockchain. But I can kind of halfway demonstrate this by adding an entry to the address book. So I've actually already added a couple entries. These are all actually my address, but I just added a couple entries so you'd have demonstration purposes. So I would have my address copied right now, um, but in reality you'd have your that whoever you're going to be sending Monero to, that'd actually be pretty awesome to be able to pay um, your monthly rent with Monero or something like that in the future. Uh, if you had a particularly techie landlord or something, that'd be pretty awesome, uh, but, but I digress. Um, so you have the address of whoever you're sending your Monero to, and then you can give uh, the address a description. So I'm gonna just gonna call this one Tom. So now you can see I actually have several different users, even though they're all the same address for this demonstration purposes. In reality, they would have different addresses. So of course you can just hover over this and copy the address, but you also have the neat feature of just sending straight to this address. So say I need to send Tom uh, to Monero for building me a computer or something like that. I'd be able to do that. So the address would automatically populate, the description would automatically populate. And then at this point in time, all you really have to do is enter the amount. So I could have to enter to uh, Monero. And then also I would need to so this is what your fee will be based upon. The default is X1 fee, um, but you have different settings on how quickly you want this tran transaction be, to be processed and to be confirmed by other users in the blockchain. So if you need this to be processed rap more quickly, you can pay a higher fee to get that to be processed through the blockchain at a much uh, quicker 
pace. So depending on how you're sending this, you can save a little money by using a lower fee, or if you need a quick transaction, you can up the fee, pay a larger fee, but it will be confirmed at much quicker. And the final point, of course, is at the top left is your balance. Uh, pretty straightforward and simple. Um, but that's kind of the general basics of the Monero wallet. And uh, first of all, of course, how to set it up and then also how to kind of navigate through the user interface. All right, so that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. A big thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you found this video helpful or otherwise enjoyable, give it a big like. I greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're not already an existing subscriber, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button and hit that bell icon at the same time to stay tuned for more great videos from Thought Provoking Tech. Until next time, sack out.